the other officers to be charged because they are complicit. They allowed this to happen. You know, they could have did something about it. They allowed this man to be murdered in cold blood right on the street. They, as he said, I can't breathe. I can't breathe um, many times. Um, as far as the charges, second degree for um, Derek, uh, the cop who murdered him, um, uh, I feel like that is better than a third degree because essentially they trying to say like, third degree is kind of like heat up the moment I'm if I'm not mistaken like it wasn't like you you knew what you were doing you know you this man said I can't breathe I can't breathe many times and you knew what you were doing so you know if, if you said if, if he like if you felt like oh my god I'm going I'm going to kill this man or I'm I'm so heated right now maybe you just need to take a step back or you just let the other officers ha um, handle it but you made that decision to make to kill that man and take his life like that you know and you just can't get away with that so i feel like and i believe with everything in me that these other officers need to be charged they are just as guilty you've been protesting uh throughout the years starting as a very young teenager um and you've been on the front lines of the protests these past few days what are you seeing um what's what is different now than what you've experienced in the past lord um what i'm seeing more so um, now than ever is the fact that is there's a lot of white allies because when I first started off when I was 13, it was a lot of us black people out there by ourselves on the front lines and then we're getting tear gas and mace and all of that. But now I'm seeing more white people out there and they're they're just tired of others white people crap, you know, um, the racist white people of course. But it's like now it's it's coming they come to terms like yeah this is a problem in america and we're going to do something about it we're not going to stand by and be complicit and be involved in these um the um be be stand up for we're going to stand up for what's right essentially we're not going to let these uh leftist police brutality keep happening and these uh the black people and the black uh, activists or whatever they however they identify us um continue to go through these injustices in this country so this is what I see mostly, and they um what I see mostly of as well. They let us speak, you know. They're like, oh, let 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 her speak, you know. Since I've been at protests, they're like, wait, wait, this is this is a um this is a black activist. She needs to speak. This is her voice. This is a, a conversation concerning her. So she needs to speak. So that's what I love the most. They have been so good at uplifting our voices, and that is what we need if we want to create um change that we that the true change that we wish to see, you know. Lasting change, uh, what, what people are looking for. Um, what has gone through your mind as you've watched protests unfold, not just across the United States, but around the world, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, on the other side of the world? Oh, my God. It, it's just it's sad that it took this long. But honestly, it's just so, it fills me with so much uh, gratitude, but also like sadness that it took this long to actually, for people to actually realize this is a problem amongst blacks. Like, this is a problem. Like, uh, blacks have been um, um, suffering for years and years, 400 plus years of oppression and suppression and all that. So um, I really, I don't know, I just, I don't, I don't really have a word for it, you know? Like, it's so amazing to see. I've, I've had people reach out to me from uh, New Zealand and Europe and all these uh, uh, places, different countries or whatever, uh, just asking me, like, what can I do? What can I do? Like, I can't donate uh, internationally, but what can I do? You know, how can I uplift your voice? How can I uplift black voices? And that is just so amazing. And honestly, people say, oh, they shouldn't be thanked for the bare minimum. But, you know, it's okay to thank, it's okay to thank each other. It's okay to, this is, my ultimate goal in the end is to be together and, um, you know, just be together um, on a united front and accept the peace as a norm, not the exception.